Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Many Movies coming at you with my review of The Wicker Man. And I am not talking about the Nicolas Cage crap fest. I'm talking about the 1973 original film, that the Nicolas Cage movie that everybody's seen that not the bees moment from uh, is a remake. Uh, this movie is definitely, 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 in my view, worth seeing. And it, uh, to me, I, I love the Nicolas Cage movie on certain levels because it is so epically atrocious and so hilariously bad and there is so much ridiculous overacting and there's so many moments like when Nicolas Cage just randomly walks up and punches women in the face that are like what what is happening but at the same time it's the might be the perfect example of a movie remake that ruins the original because Either A, people, a lot of people don't even know that that movie is a remake and that there is an original film that it is uh, taken from. B, they assume that the original is uh, this is the same as the, the remake and also equally bad and shouldn't be seen. And that, that's a really big shame. shame. Now, I'll say this. Uh, there is a bit of a tonal crossover. There are moments in the original uh, The Wicker Man where I remember watching it for the first time and being like, huh? Like, there's, there's this, this moment where it comes, this comes very early in the movie, so this isn't really a spoiler in any real way, where the, the film's main character is in one room and the next room over you just have this girl dancing around naked and you're. I was watching it being like, what the heck? What am I watching? And it's funny because by the time the movie ends, you know exactly what was going on there. And it actually really, really works. But you do definitely have some moments in the original film that are, are kind of like weird weird you out as an audience member until you know what's going on. Um, I mean, they, there are definitely elements in the remake that you see in the original. Like they, they all wear, like they, when they come around and they're wearing like the, the animal heads and stuff like that. But this movie is actually really frightening and to a large large degree. Now, I'm not going to go into any kind of great detail about the plot. If you've seen the remake, the plot is pretty much beat for beat, almost exactly the same. But the, the, the difference is, is that if this movie is not played for laughs. There are moments that might make you feel awkward, might make you laugh as a result of that, but nothing in this movie is played to, to in order to do that. It's all in service of this really, really creepy, unnerving, and off-putting story that ends with this the, 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 this moment that is just so difficult to, to watch because if you're uh, somebody who empathizes with the character in any way shape or form it, when you're if you get yourself into that to that like place in your head where you're like envisioning what that might feel like to either one have it actually happen to you or be be in a situation where you know it's about to happen to you I mean that it is absolutely horrifying and then like the the way in which the person gets in, in that situation is just it's just like it's a real like mind bender uh, as far as things uh, things are just you know the, the things that happen are just so off the wall, but work, come into uh, perfection in the end. Because they, 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 there's so many moments in this movie, the first time you watch it, that feel like they're just, you know, the nightmare uh, fantasies of a guy on, on acid, uh, uh, just putting this all together. And, you know, it's kind of like, e like Easy Rider. I'm not a big fan of Easy Rider because there's all these long sequences where people are doing like this stuff, right? And to me, no, it doesn't really serve the, the plot of the movie. I understand that for its time it was groundbreaking, but it just it just doesn't work for me. And there, when you what when I was watching this, there were moments where I kind of was like, nah. It's not it's like that, eh? And but by the end of the movie, you find out that there's a reason for everything that happens in this movie, and it all serves the purpose of the story, and it all comes together in such an interesting way, and like it's just quite quite the experience. Uh, so those are my thoughts on this movie. I really think that this movie is really really underseen and maybe even underrated, uh, just based on people judging it before 
knowing anything about it. And uh, I really, really suggest people check it out. Uh, so those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen it, what you think. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some people that telling me that I need to, to review the, the Cage movie now. And if there's enough, I, I just may. Uh, please hit that like button. It does awesome things for my channel. Makes it much more likely that this video might show up in other people's recommended uh, sections. And please, 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 if you enjoyed this video and you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you can find out when I put out new videos and come and hopefully enjoy them as much and let me know what you think. Uh, and other than that, have yourself a great day.